What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're continuing on the Ford 428 and man I can just imagine the Edelbrock aluminum heads and the Holly Tri-Power mounted on this thing. It's gonna look really really awesome. But the goal for this video is to finally mate the camshaft with the crank. I've got a very very nice double roller timing set we're going to install and then we are also going to degree the camshaft. I just think it's important to do it on every engine so that we can maximize all that horsepower but uh, let me show you guys some parts and then we'll get right to it so these are all the parts I'm going to be using and check out this really nice double roller timing set this one is made by Romac and it is the Rollmaster Gold Series and I've been doing a lot a lot of research on timing sets and I found out that pretty much most of them all come from the same manufacturer they're just rebranded but I sort of splurge a little bit on this one. It's supposed to be a little bit uh, better, higher quality. It's got an exclusive German chain and check this thing out. I already opened it, but man, this thing is just super, super high quality. It's all billet steel and check out that chain. It is really, really nice. But uh, I think if you go with the Ford Performance or the Cloyes timing sets, I think you'll do just fine. I just decided to spend a little bit more money on the nicer sets. But this one's got multiple keyways for the crank. And then I also picked up the cam degree kit from Summit Racing. Here's the part number for that. And all it is is just a degree wheel with the accessories to degree your camshaft. Check that out. So only two parts for this video, not as uh, intimidating as all the crank and the rods and stuff. So let me install this double roller timing set and then we'll get right to it and degree the camshaft. Let's do it. you guys we've got the chain installed check it out it's looking really nice uh, I just want to make sure that the dot right here is straight across from the zero right there so it took me a couple tries but I got it done uh, I also found a thicker washer right here uh, the one that originally came with this it just looks pretty small so <laughs> thicker washer never hurts uh, I just want to make sure that it covers this little pin right here because if this were to loosen, uh, that would be a pretty bad day for you. But the chain is spinning really nice. Um, I forgot to mention that we are going to need a piston stop. And I've got to put it on right here already. It just stops the piston at the very top of its stroke. And I've got it all set up right here with the wheel. And I've got it at uh, 90 just to make the math a little easier. But what we're going to do now is find top dead center. And for this, we're going to turn it counterclockwise, and then we're going to do a little bit of math, uh, take the uh, piston stop off, and then set it with the wheel with the number that we got. So let's get right to it. All right, we've got piston number one at True TDC. Check that out. And just as I explained in the previous video, I started out at 90 and then I turned it counterclockwise until it hit the 
piston stop again and then we recorded that number so you're gonna have two numbers recorded the 90 and the second number which was 78 uh, first time I got 79 but you kind of want to do this a couple times to make sure you get the same number and I kept getting 78 so then you add 90 plus 78 which is 168 you divide it by 2 and you get 84 so we're gonna turn it again counterclockwise and we're gonna go back to 84 and you're gonna take off the piston stop so that you can get that travel there so we're at 84 and it is now at TDC so what we're gonna do now is uh, take the wheel off we're gonna set it all the way to zero degrees because we're at TDC now but uh, not really a how-to video there's several several videos on how to degree a camshaft um, the best one that I found was the one from a Thunderhead 289 he's a really knowledgeable guy so I would really recommend his videos um, I'll put the link in the description below but now we're gonna mount the dial indicator and we're going to degree the camshaft so let's do it all right so we've got the dial indicator mounted check it out and we're gonna put it on the second position of the first set of lifters and all we're trying to do is find the highest point of the lobe using the lifter here uh, so we're gonna turn the engine over and over until the dial stops moving until it can't go any higher and at that point it's also going to dwell just like the piston so we want to zero out the dial here and we're going to turn it 50 thousandths past and 50 thousandths before we're going to add those two numbers just like we did in finding TDC and then we are going to divide it by 2 and what I get is 105.5 and you want to repeat this process a couple times to make sure that you get the same number every time but uh, once you get your intake center line we're going to look at our cam sheets here and here is your lobe center line on the intake it is 106 so we are pretty darn close on there I don't think we have to advance it or retard the uh, sprocket there the cam but uh, if we take a look at the book it says here a four degree change will be apparent while a one or two degree change might be very subtle so I think we're <laughs> pretty spot on uh, we don't really have to do much with the cam uh, timing here so now that we are done with the camshaft we can go ahead and loctite the cam bolt this one is from arp so we're going to torque it down to 55 foot pounds then we're also going to put on the oil slinger right here and then we're going to test fit the timing cover to make sure there's no interference with this double roller chain um, I've also got ARP bolts for the timing cover. I think they just look really really good And I went to this store and they had a whole like cabinet Full of ARP man. It was just crazy. I've never seen anything like it But uh, let's get this timing cover done and let's seal this part up. Let's do it
all right we are all done check it out the timing cover is looking really nice and really tidy and I really want to stress the use of silicone um, you only really need a thin layer with the gasket you know I've just been seeing a lot of engines with just gobs and gobs of red RTV everywhere and it just looks very sloppy and the worst part of it all is that it can break off into your oiling system and just mess up your whole engine build so just be careful when using silicone uh, you only really want to use a little bit these are 50 year old parts so I think a little bit will go a long ways in helping you seal these areas but uh, just a couple of tips for you guys uh, you will need your crank spacer when you're installing your timing cover uh, because it will help it in properly aligning it so don't forget to put this on while you're bolting on your cover and uh, mine's uh, yeah mine has a couple marks on there I'm not sure why I don't remember dropping it off like that but we might have to get a new one of these um, another tip are the open uh, bolt holes so as you can see these two holes are through the oiling system so you will need to put some Teflon paste and on the Ford 428 these two are open uh, this one is open right here and then uh, this one is open as well so some Teflon paste will really help out with uh, sealing it up but uh, that's it uh, I did just find out that the Edelbrock heads are back ordered and I emailed Edelbrock and they said that they're hopefully going to send them out starting in July but I've been hearing a lot of people that have orders already and they've been waiting for over a year now so I don't know <laughs> but uh man we are just waiting for the interior for over a year now that's back ordered we are waiting for the dash pad to put the whole dash back together and then we are now waiting for the Edelbrock heads so we should, it just seems like a lot of stuff is being back ordered but uh we know we just have to keep going with this build uh i'm gonna have to find stuff to do on this car there's always something to do so you know i'm not sure what the next couple of videos are gonna be uh we're just gonna have to keep progressing with this build but uh, i really want to thank you guys for subscribing thank you guys for watching and most importantly thank you guys for commenting I really just want to hear what you guys think of the videos, what do you guys think of the stuff that I'm doing. And I really want to make uh, more content, better content, so I'm always open for suggestions. So let me know in the comments. And that's it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Boom.